Hi guys, um, I just wanted to make this video and raise awareness about an issue that um, is kind of an ongoing problem we've been having out here in more of the rural, er rural areas of Texas. Um, I grew up in a small town um, kind of northwest of Fort Worth and I lived there for 20 years and in those 20 years um, we yeah, I lived on a farm. My dad raised cows, my mom raised dogs. Um, we probably had a grand total of maybe five or six stray animals that wandered onto our property. Um, the, some of the cats we kept, um, but the dogs, unfortunately, had to be euthanized um, because we didn't know if they had rabies. We didn't know if they had parvo. A lot of them were emaciated, injured, dying. Um, when you dump your animals out here, they don't die a peaceful death. Um, it's They spend their last moments just trying to survive trying to keep from getting killed by a coyote, getting run over, um, they get shot. Um, for some people, they just become a pest. Um, I moved here, I moved out here to um, south of, I'm not going to tell you all my location because none of your business where I live, but I live south of Fort Worth and I live in a rather kind of rural area. Again, moved back to the country um, three years ago. I, uh, since I've moved here, I've rescued three stray kittens. Um, the first one was so emaciated that, um, I mean, she was skin and bones. She's a chalker now. Um, she's somewhere sleeping, hiding. Uh, the second one was a little red and white tabby, a uh, little boy. Um, I was able to, he got, uh, I had a lady from a rescue come pick him up and he ended up getting adopted by his foster parents. So he found a forever home. And the third one uh, came up to me the other day um, when after I filmed my last video about the caterpillars. Um, some of y'all might have seen it that are following me. Um, it was kind of dumb. But anyways, um, you know, I turn around and there's a kitten. And I'm thinking he belongs to somebody because, you know, he's clean. He doesn't have any fleas. Um, he seems very well socialized. He let me pick him up. He let me pet him. Um, and I kind of let him just hang out for a little while thinking he would go home. Uh, it was kind of starting to rain. A uh, storm was coming, so we got on the porch, and I was like, okay, well, I'll just hang out with the little guy until it quits raining. Well, it didn't, like, quit raining, and it started thundering, and he got scared. And I had stuff to do, so I brought him in the house, and I put him in my spare bedroom because I have a litter box in here. Um, I currently have three cats, and so I put him in here, separate him from the other cats, and, um, I gave him some food and some water. He seemed kind of scrawny, seemed kind of skinny. Um, you know, woofed it down. Uh, this cat, um, I decided to, I took some pictures of him and I put them on Facebook and I posted them to the next door app and just to see if he belonged to anyone. He, he was anybody's kitten. And, um, this was Labor Day weekend, three day weekend. So we had three days, people, three days, um, no response to anything. Um, the only response I got was like from one of my aunts and they were like, hey, keep him. He's cute. He's adorable little kitty. He's super sweet. He loves to cuddle. Um, he likes my dog. Um, he's nice with my kid and he seems to get along pretty well with my other cats. Um, he does have an appointment on November 2nd to get neutered. Um, at the Texas Coalition for Animal Protection. They do a spade and neuters for very cheap there. Um, I think his neutering is going to cost $35. Um, the first kitten I rescued was a female. I got her spayed. I think it was like $40. Bucks. Um, you know, and that being said, you know, if you're in a situation where you find an animal, please, please, please get them spayed and neutered. That's what causes a lot of this. The pets have puppies. They have kittens and you can't take care of them all. You don't have space for them all. You can't find homes from them all. And I know a lot of people just get frustrated and they're like, oh, just forget it. We'll just take them somewhere. Take them somewhere. Please stop dumping your animals. Okay. And I mean, this is just the cats I've seen. Um, in the neighborhood down the road, I've heard people complain about a whole pack of wild dogs that are running around and, you know, they're killing people's chickens. They're killing people's pets. They're tearing up everybody's trash. 
Um, you know, if your trash gets tore up out here, you get rats, you get raccoons, um, you get possums. And, you know, some people don't like to welcome those kinds of animals. They don't want them around. They cause problems with their existing animals. And for a lot of people, you know, people move out here because they want to be self-sustaining. They want to grow their own food. They want to raise their own livestock and their own animals. And, you know, when these wild dogs get together and start running around, um, they kill their chickens. They kill their livestock. They, they piss all over their plants outside. They tear up their gardens. And I mean, they're just a nuisance. They're a nuisance now. Um, and that being said, if I see you dumping animals here or anywhere, um, I'm going to get a picture of your vehicle and your license plate. Um, and, and I, and I will report it, uh, because it, there's no need for it. There's shelters that will gladly take your animals, your unwanted animals. They will, and you, and you might be like, oh my gosh, well, don't they euthanize them? Yes, they will euthanize the animals. That's as a last resort. A good shelter, a good shelter worth a darn, will only use euthanization as a last resort. That's if this animal has sat in this shelter for three to six months and has yet to find a home. Um, a lot of cases, and in some cases, rescues will swoop in and take these animals to the rescues. Rescues will also take your animals. Especially if they're a specific breed or they're a purebred, um, they will be happy to take them in. That is their job. That is what they do. And they would much rather you surrender your animal than to have to scrape it off the side of the road somewhere or pull it out of a trash can or have to go out and get a call that, you know, it's been shot. So if you're going to have a pet, please be responsible. Please get them spayed, get them neutered. And, you know, if you're just comfortable with dumping your animals on the side of the road somewhere, like an old couch, then maybe having pets and having animals isn't for you. Just, just isn't your thing. Um, but it shouldn't be our problem, and it shouldn't be our responsibility to take care of them. I mean, I have four cats now that I have to take care of. You know, and, and this is, I mean, this is also including cats that I adopted. Two cats that I adopted. Um, you know, and I love them all. But... I can only do so much. I can only do so much with what I got. Um, so, I mean, just, just something to think about. Um, you know, do your research. Please do your research before you get an animal. Um, find out what your resources are. And you're not going to get in trouble for taking them to a shelter. You're not. What you are going to get in trouble for is leaving them on the side of the road. So, thanks for watching. Um... Have a, have a good day. Have a blessed day.